that story that they told us about in training. About George Washington's first female spy during the revolution. They called her Agent 355 because they didn't want the world to know her real name. But her legacy lives on. We're the top agents from around the world. American, British, German, Colombian, Chinese. But now we have a common enemy. They can start World War III from simple reach of their keyboard. So we need to join forces. It's like half the CIA's most wanted. Always such a tough guy. I'm not an agent, I'm a therapist. They thought I would give you my secrets. Do you have secrets? We put ourselves in danger so that others are not. I'll handle the guns. Are you in therapy? I should be. Well, I was on the Drake can in 2017. I saw the posters of the male ensemble action movies looking for financing. And I was just like, why don't they do these with women? <laughs> and so I talked to my agent, Hilda Queeley. We figured out a plan on how to make it. I called all the actresses. I said, we'll develop the script together, the characters together. Um, we'll raise the money together. Um, we'll make it outside of the studio system independently. We'll make it for a fraction of the cost of what it normally makes. And all of the actresses are going to be the owners of the movie. And that's what was exciting to me. I felt like the film had never been done before in terms of like taking women in espionage incredibly seriously and not making it cute or like a joke. And then I was excited about valuing the actresses as the owners of the film, which I feel like the industry for a long time has devalued actresses. So everyone was already on board, right, when I signed on. So I was excited to even pick up the script. And from page one, I was like, wow, who wouldn't want to work with all these girls? And I was just praying that my character would hold up to, you know, the rest of them. Um, I think obviously we all know that all of them are incredible actresses. I loved working and getting to know them every day. Um, they were not just professional, but they went above and beyond to make me feel comfortable as a new mom. You know, I was very anxious to get back to work uh, and, and stressed out. They were so uh, professional, but fun and it was, there was a true sense of sisters in summer camp at boot camp, you know. <laughs> I, I enjoyed playing her. The difficult thing was not to laugh sometimes when it was like a dramatic, really dangerous scene where there was like shooting and they were really risking their lives. But my character was like running away, covering her face with a handbag, thinking that that would but it's like a reaction that you do out of fear, but to, to be able to, to have those things in a movie like this that takes itself seriously, but not too seriously. I think it's the script is smarter because of that. Because you see real people doing these things, like the people that we met do, doing some research. See, they are, they are real. They, are, they, they have families, they have they also have fears, they have vulnerabilities. So to be able to show also that part of the character, even if they are great at what they do. Jessica Chastain called me um, after uh, we had worked together a few years prior and said, I'm putting a project together um, and uh, literally a team of, um, of actors and uh, we're gonna do this movie um, my way, our, our way, sort of, and, and approach it from a real creative kind of um, perspective. Uh, and there's a role in it, and you should take a look at it. And I did, and I, I saw who was involved and who I would get to play opposite of, and the rest was pretty much a no-brainer. Yes, our consultant on our film um, is, works in espionage, and um, she told me that between female spies nowadays, they use the moniker 355 as a badge of honor. And 355 was a secret code name for the first female spy during the American Revolution who worked um, for George Washington. Her real identity is unknown to this day, um, but women 
in espionage use that moniker, the 355, as a badge of honor and a way of acknowledging this woman, acknowledging all women who have done the work in the shadows to keep us all safe. And I wanted to honor them as well. You're the best in the world at what you do. You have cameras in your jewelry, comms in your earrings. You bump, I grab. The target is on the move. You're not going in there alone. We go together. I have a family. I cannot do this anymore. The bad guys are out there right now. You go home, you bring them with you. Are you under control? Are you? No. Black cars, all black, everything. I've got four more agents out on the street. I counted six, but thanks for the tip. I like the new team. We're the 355.